Okay, th this is a short instructional video for those of you out there that may have a lot of carburetor experience but little or no fuel injection experience. When you start a fuel injected engine, things are a little bit different. First off, on a carbureted engine, if you pump the throttle, you're pumping the accelerator pump and that squirts gas up into the carburetor and, and you start an engine that way you can prime it. With a fuel injected engine, that doesn't work. You can sit here and pump the throttle all day long and all it does is run an air valve in the, in the throttle body. So that's different than a carbureted engine. So what you're using on a fuel injected engine is the electric boost pump to prime the engine. Now with that in mind, you can turn the electric boost pump on all day long and if the mixture's out, none of the fuel gets to the engine for priming. It all stops at the fuel metering. So consequently, the mixture control has got to be in in order to shoot the gas to the engine for start. Another thing is a lot of people think that a continental fuel injection system squirts the fuel directly into the combustion chamber kind of like a diesel. It doesn't work that way. The fuel gets injected upstream of the intake valve and then gets sucked into the cylinder when the intake valve opens. So the moral of the story there is if you prime the engine, start the engine right away. Don't prime the engine and then sit there and fiddle with your sectional charts and a bunch of other stuff. Because what can happen, similar to a carbureted engine, if you prime a fuel injected engine and you don't start it right away, being as the fuel isn't in the combustion chamber, it'll drain down the induction tubes to a low point. And then if you have a backfire, it could cause an induction fire. So consequently, just prime the engine when you're ready to start. Now the next thing is, is the amount of prime you give to the engine is directly related to the throttle position. If I turn the boost pump on for three seconds to prime the engine with the throttle all the way out, I'm giving three seconds of fuel flow at, at, at an idle fuel flow setting, which is about two gallons an hour. If I do that same three seconds at full throttle, now I'm, I'm shooting 12 times the fuel to the motor in that same time period because now it's shooting uh, fuel at the rate of 24 gallons an hour. So the, the amount of prime you give is directly related to the throttle position. A lot of people will just push the throttle in a little ways and for three seconds worth of boost they'll find they don't have enough to, to start the engine, enough prime. Rather than running the pump longer, all you need to do is push the throttle in a little bit further and that'll in turn inject more gas into the engine, into the priming system, for the same given period of time. Now on a coal start what we're going to do is normally I run the throttle in about halfway. I'll hit the boost pump to high boost for about three seconds. On a really cold day, I may add a second. And you remember on a carbureted engine, on a really cold day, you give it an extra shot or two of prime. Same thing here, except you just leave the boost pump on a little bit longer. So on an average day like today, our cylinders are showing about 53 degrees, I'm going to turn the electric boost pump on for three seconds with the throttle halfway in. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. I'm going to shut it off, bring the throttle back, crack it for an idle, and then we'll start the engine. And it fires right up.